RAF Base Darwin was established at the start of World War II. It suffered damage when Darwin was bombed in 1942, but remained critical to operations during the war in the Pacific. In 1963, the base supported a visit by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth. The RAAF Ensign flutters a welcome at the Darwin base, northernmost point of the Queen's tour. The guard at Darwin is no less immaculate than guards at bases in the southern states. So when the Territory Administrator, Mr Roger Knott, and Group Captain Henderson step forward to greet the Royal visitors, the heat and the recent rain are forgotten. The RAAF is on parade. RAF Darwin supported the evacuation of sick and wounded soldiers out of Vietnam. Although severely damaged by Cyclone Tracy, the base recovered enough to receive relief flights. It was the largest airlift in Australia's history, in which the majority of Darwin's population were evacuated. RAF Base Darwin has been pivotal as a forward operating base supporting Australian and multinational aircraft as part of the international peacekeeping force that deployed to East Timor in September 1999 and relief efforts in Indonesia after the 2004 tsunami. In 2002, it supported casualty evacuations after the Bali bombings. Today, the base continues to support border security operations and search and rescue. It is also home to number 114 mobile control and reporting unit, providing Air Force with a deployable radar surveillance and air defense capability. Air Force air traffic controllers continue to manage the sky above Darwin. Then, now, always, RAF Darwin protecting Australia's north and proudly part of the Northern Territory community.